What is up everybody, welcome to this new video of TechPress. In this tutorial, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the full and easy way to use Meta Business Suite. So, if you have a page, if you have a company website, if you have your socials of your company into Facebook, into Instagram, we are going to be actually having really, really a lot of business resources for Meta Business Suite. So if you go directly into facebook.com fast forward slash Meta Business Suite, this one should be taking us here into the Meta section where we can just get started. So this place is helping us to manage all our business activity, speaking about Facebook, Messenger, Instagram in just one place. So we do have the overview, we have the case studies, the case study, a few tips. So in order to get started, what you wanted to do is to hit into get started here. Now, as you can see, I already have an account here into the Meta Business Suit. If you feel like you don't have absolutely anything, you don't have to worry about that, just click here where it says your actual account and go for create a business account. Now, this one should be taking us into business account name, enter your account information, your first, your last name, and your business email. I can totally suggest you to have just one business email to manage all that information. So your Instagram account, your Facebook account, everything should be just placed into just one place. So once I fit all this information, hit now into create. And then later on, once I am already in here, you wanted to create and, and of course to import all your, uh, let's say all your posts, all your socials in here. So let's focus now into edit. And here into edit, here you can see what you wanted to see actually into your business suit. So for example, I wanted to see all the home, the notification, and all the tools is only available here. I cannot remove this, but let's say that I wanted to engage audience with some business feed. I can add game streaming, for example, if I want to, sound collection, uh, manage account quality, the billing, the media library, the page settings, and I believe that would be it. I can. Uh, add up to 10 toes, but if you think that there is something that is not available or not important for you, for example, I am not pretty sure if I am going to be um, important about the inbox, I'm going to delete this about this ads, and instead, I'm going to add some commerce and ads reporting. Or let's go for events manager. So after that, I hit now into save, and my information should be now updated. So now I'm going to hit and focus, of course, into my all the toes. And here into the all the tools, this is all the information that you can see about your business account. We have the business feed, the content, the game streaming, the inbox, absolutely everything. So what I want to do, first of all, is to make sure that I have everything added correctly. So let's go and go directly into account. I go into account quality. This one should be popping up a new section which is account quality. And here is my business.facebook.com account, fast forward slash the meta business account. So they don't have any customer feedback data. As you can see, I have my account here. So if I focus into the left bar where it says Facebook account, I click the, and here is my Facebook account. I have my personal uh, ad account. I have a commerce account and here are my pages. So if you wanted to add a new page, what you want to do is to hit here and let's go for a business account. In my case, I want to choose my business account, which is actually this one. There we go. I click here. I click into the business settings. I have my business and here into my business, I go directly into accounts. Now here into accounts, I wanted to focus into pages. Here into pages, what you wanted to do is to add or create a new page. In my case, we don't have any page yet. So I want to go for add, add a page. And here, what you wanted to do is to page a URL that you already have. If you already have created a page, but you have not linked it to your page, your Facebook page into your business account, I'm going to open any tab, go for facebook.com. Now here, I'm going to be looking for my actual Facebook page, which is actually this one. So once I am in here, what I want to do is to go directly into my URL. I copy this information and I paste that in here add a page and blah, blah, blah. So now what I want to do is to focus into ad accounts. Ad accounts are going to be helping you to start and managing ads into Meta. So you need to have an ad account in order to create a business manager stuff. So once again, hit into ad. I have the create a new ad account or add an ad account. So here what you want to do is to add your ID. If you don't know what is actually your ID, you can just create a new one. Then later on, we have the business asset groups. 
and this is not that important this is for let's say for helping you to connect assets for people and permissions into all one place i mean this is a small company so i don't want to focus a lot on that focus into applications and here into applications if you have an actual application that you have just created depending on your company you can add this in here but we were actually focusing into instagram so now into instagram what we wanted to do is to link an instagram account here the process of creating or adding your Instagram account is exactly the same as you were actually adding your Facebook page. So let's focus here into add. Here's going to be asking you to connect your Instagram account and you're going to be having access to adding content, add, insights, messages, and comments. So focus into connect your Instagram account. This should be popping up this new section of the Instagram sign in. -in. So what I want to do is to add my phone number as well as my passcode and I get into logged in. Now, in my case, I am not going to be doing this because my account is now been linked into another website, into a, another business tools. I'm going to be showing you how it's going to be looking at the end of the actual video. But now focus into WhatsApp account. You can do exactly the same thing into WhatsApp and the process once again is exactly the same. Now, speaking about the data sources, the data sources are going to be helping you to track the conversions, all the source, the, the groups, every kind of stuff that appears into how many people looked at your ads, uh, what's your audience, how it's going to be looking like, the pixels. So um, if you don't want to focus a lot in here, just go directly into your account and make sure that everything has now been successfully added. In my case, I'm going to be using these actual account. And if you go back into your business uh, home section, we have now our Facebook and our Instagram bit linked it. So if I focus into here, it says audience, I have my lifetime Facebook page followers and I have zero, which, which is great because we were just getting started and actually we have a few uh, page reach here. So I can create a new goal if I want to. Let's go for set up a goal, hit into get started. And let's say that I wanted to grow some followers, right? From my Facebook and Instagram. So I'm gonna hit into grow followers in the next 28 days. Let's say that I wanted to grow, uh, I'm gonna hit here into Facebook uh, like pages. My goal is to, I'm gonna hit now into custom. Into the next 28 days, it's to reach my very first, let's say 20 followers. There we go. And the start day is from today and the end date is June 2. So I'm gonna hit now into create my goal. And there we go. So as you can see, I now have this actual reach uh, on its goal. So this one should be like popping up as I am growing, growing more followers. You can add and reach more people and reach more goals and you can set it up in here. Now, if you wanted to create an actual, uh, let's say content, I want to go into planner and here into the planner is going to be showing you like a small calendar that can be helping you to check it out how it's going to be looking all your content type. Let's say instead of uh, choosing the week, I want to choose the whole month. And here I can see that I have actually nothing to add yet. But let's say that I want to do like a new content here. I'll say, for example, that today is the 5th of May. Schedule a post, a schedule and a schedule a new post or create a new reel, for example. I can choose to post this. Here I can add trending audio stuff like if we were actually using our uh, phone. I can have new releases if you wanted to. Uh, let's say, for example, that I add this one. And if you can see this, I can go into schedule and here I wanted to choose the place where I wanted to post this. For example, let's say today at 4 p.m. Allow the mix uh, remix in. You can see this. I hit into schedule and boom, we can plan this. Everything here without having to use a phone number. Everything should be created here into the meta business suit. Um, at the very first beginning, it's a little bit, let's say, difficult to figure out how this actual business Facebook works. But at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure that if you use the more you use this tool, the better and the faster is going to be helping you to create reels, create posts, managing, uh, scheduling, and of course, going to be helping you to grow a little bit more your uh, your branding, your career as an influencer or whatever. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you think this was very useful for you. We are not ready to get started here into the meta business suit. Just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. See you on the next video.